This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Hello everybody, glad you could make it. My name is Kaylee Ellen and welcome to this week's video. I know, I know, have you seen the title? Have you seen the title? Have you seen the title? This could be, is it actually the first haul of this year? Or have I had like a couple in spring? Because I don't remember the last time I actually did a plant haul. But alas guys, alas, I've actually got one. Now it's not big. It's not big. And it's mainly variegates. I think there's like one plant that isn't. Let me just have a look. Yeah, it's a small one and it's variegates, but I want to show you today. So I'm not going to spend any time faffing on. We're going to get straight into it. I'm going to show you what I've got. Now, I've not ordered all of these myself, right? Total disclosure, because there's something in here I actually don't like at all. And I'm going to share it with you. The first plant I want to show you, I'm going to take a very quick second, which for you is no time at all. For me, it's a good minute or so. Just Googling to see how this is different, right? Because this is isn't one that I picked and I just want to know if this was a good idea or not so give me one moment let me just hold up both of these I do have a few more but I've just picked two no one needs to see like eight of them right so let me just pick these up see if you can guess what they are why not I'll show one up at a time because it's actually I'm gonna have to tip them like this and all the lacquer is gonna come out I'll just show you like this you may or may not be able to see what it is if I just show you sort of how it grows very difficult as you can see of course it is an aroid of course there's an aroid it grows upwards like this can you see i hope you can this is what it looks like in le pot there you go this is apparently a mandula pothos except it's just got different variegation now i have just googled it and it would appear that is the case i think the other variegation is more like aerosol type variegation i know it's gonna make no sense if you don't know what i mean but i do think this does look different again this is not my pick i did not commission this coming into the shop these have just been picked because i think I feel like people like this sort of stuff, but if I just show you again, you can now see what it is. So that is one there. It's got beautiful variegation. The variegation, this is difficult because I would say it's yellow. Do I have more here? At the moment, it looks yellow, but not entirely yellow. It almost looks like it's going to harden off to a cream. It's a bit bizarre. I, I definitely wouldn't say it's full yellow because I have stuff with yellow variegation. It doesn't quite look the same. You know what? I don't even know. Just, I'm only saying it because this other one here, look, if you wonder where I'm getting my info from. See that here? I don't know what it looks like on camera, but to me, this particular portion of this one here doesn't look so yellow. It doesn't look white. It looks more like a cream, sort of in the middle. So I don't want to say it's white variegated. I don't want to say it's yellow variegated. I would say it's that weird in between the color because, and I often say this about yellow variegation, by the way, on a lot of plants. I know everyone's just decided that they hate it, right? But in my opinion, there is a white, there is a yellow, and there is genuinely something in between that is like a creamy yellow. I just do. Um, and I would say that this actually falls under it. I think variegated gloriosum can fall under it. I would actually say that Florida Beauty falls under it a little bit. Like it's not full yellow. Can I pick one out? Two seconds. Where's it gone? Yeah, I, I hope you'll see what I mean. Like this here, right? Sorry, this is not part of the whole, but you get my point. This, I wouldn't say this was full yellow, would you? And I know loads of people that love Florida Beauty, right? And they don't like yellow variegation. And I think the answer is, guys, one, it's a gorgeous plant. Two, I think it's not that yellow. It's just not that yellow at all. And it's it's reached a point where it's it's hardened off quite beautifully to a cream. So if you can hear something, it's me kicking a stool beneath me. Do you get my point? So when I hold this up with it, not the best way to do this. When I hold this up with it, I, it does look more yellow, but it just doesn't look full on yellow. Now I could be talking shit. I could be talking shit. It could just be yellow. I don't know. Let me just put this down while I talk to you. Um, so I'm not entirely sure what it is. It's yellowy, yellowy, creamy. I don't think it's going to harden off pure white. That's. I think that would be probably a bit of a stretch. I think it's going to harden off that cream colour if it hardens off. Because this, to me, it almost looks like it comes in, if I'm honest. Not even a yellow. You know, when um, certain variegation comes through that, like greeny yellow? <laughs> Honestly, I'm not making this up. There is kind of different variations of this shit. And if you work with as many plants as I do, you do kind of get that vibe. For example, the SP Tropicals, the philodendron I always hold up, that comes in a greeny yellow as well, and it hardens down. So it just kind of depends. But I would say this has definitely got a green tone to it. Now, by the time you see it, it might look totally different, and that's just due to certain things I do with the footage. Maybe I might put some color grading over it or something like that. It might look different. I apologize if it does. But just take my word for it when I say it's not full yellow. It's definitely got a bit less in it. I would say it's almost a greeny. I'm not going to use the word mint because I really, I still have issues with that word. But it's in between. Do I like it? I actually don't mind these, to be honest. They're, they're not my favorite thing in the world, but they don't offend me. Do you know what I mean? They don't offend me. But there they are. So that's Epipremnum mandula or mandula pothos, uh, but it's not the norm. I don't know how else to explain it. It's not the typical variegation, I don't think. I don't think. I don't know. 
Right, what can I show you now? I'm going to show you something not variegated, and I think it's the only non-variegated thing in this haul. Can you believe? I know. So I'm going to show you that. And I believe this is, let me just check. You probably saw a bit of that because it's quite large. It's quite large. One moment. So I think this bad boy, getting straight into it, is Philodendron Tenu, Ten Tenu, yeah, crossed with Jose Bono. And it's weird, I see more Tenu than Jose Bono, and I think a lot of you can agree. So let me just try and tip it up, because this is where you see what it looks like. It is a very cool plant, to be honest. It's very, very jungly. I can definitely see the Jose Bono in it. I just thought I'd see more of it, and I'll, I'll let you know what I mean in a second. So that... Oh, sorry, you're going to hear like her everywhere. That is kind of what it looks like. I'll try and get it to focus on the leaves instead of moi. It's like Tenu in the way that you see all these ridges, right? And it's a bit like Jose in the way that it's growing and it's more paddly. But Jose isn't as paddly as this, I wouldn't say. Not only that, but I just, I don't know why I kind of hope for a bit of variegation. Just a little bit, just a little bit. I think I was a little bit indifferent towards it when it came in and it's been in a little while and I actually kind of like it now. <laughs> it's weird, it's really grown on me. Probably just because I haven't seen this kind of variation. I feel like a lot of the time when you get these big paddly leaves like this on a philodendron, the, the petioles are really like fat and chunky. So I think it's kind of a nice mix to have this and this. I feel like a lot of people like that vibe where there's like a leaf and then a slim petiole and it looks a certain way. I have no doubt it's not a climber because one, it just looks like it at the base. You probably can't see. It might not let you. No, it's going to tip out. Awesome. So you can't see that. Um, it is climbing and the internal spacing looks tiny. Is this literally going to fall now? Yeah, I'm going to have to put my hand there because it's going to fall out the pot. Excellent. But it's actually really nice. I do really, really like this. As I say, it's nothing, it's nothing necessarily to write home about, but I just feel like in this day and age where, quite honestly, at one point in time, everyone's had everything, right? I think that's just something we can all kind of agree on. For the most part, at least where social media is concerned, we've seen most things, right? Obviously, there's always going to be new shit coming out, either a hybrid or just something no one knew about, or I, I don't even know, maybe a new genus that we all get into. Could be anything. But I think in terms of this, it's actually quite a nice one. Very subtle. Again, if you like things with pizzazz, this probably isn't your boy. Um, I'd like to see what it's like when it's even bigger. I don't think it's really going to get longer or anything, because this, this is reasonably... I don't want to say mature, but it's not too juvenile, is it really? It's sort of in between, I would say. Certainly for the part of the world where I am from. But yeah, that's him. So that's Philodendron Tenu. Or Ten, ten we ten, ten, No, Tenu, right? I'm trying to make it harder than what it is. I think it's, yeah, Tenu crossed with Jose Bono. That is what I've got written down, so that's what we're going with. And it's wobbly as shit. Pop that down. Right, listen. Back to the variegated train. And I'm going to show you something that... Honestly, I just don't like it. I just don't like it. Now, I have something similar to this in this shop, and I don't know if it's actually the same thing. What does it say this is before I pick it up for you? Because I've got two. I don't know. I just thought I'd hold up two. If you're looking for a fast and reliable way to create and run your own website, you should give Squarespace a try. Squarespace is an all-in-one solution for creating your own website from scratch using a variety of modern and sleek templates. They're really customizable so you can have a website that's unique to your brand in no time. I've used Squarespace now for well over a year for the Red Plant Shop and it's working really, really well for me. Squarespace have so many templates. They're not dated looking, they're not all the same with just the fonts and colors switched out, out, they're really unique. You're bound to find a layout that really appeals to you as a starting point. Then, of course, you can customize and go from there. If you want to create a really sleek looking website, either for an online store or maybe you're working on your own blog, check out squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com forward slash Kaylee Ellen to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. That's it from me, guys. Back to the video. Right, so it's supposed to be Raphidophora pu pu puberula, puberula, one of the two, variegated, right? <sighs> I, don't, I don't like it. Okay, this, again, this is something Ben picked, and I just, correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think it's something that you guys would necessarily like. Again, I know everyone's different, but I just, I just feel like this ain't it, you know what I mean? Um, and, and here it is. Just to me, I don't know, maybe it's just because the leaves aren't as, they're not sure of themselves, you know? They don't have like a, a good structure. I think the epipermidum I just held up looked better, if you like that kind of thing. But if I just try and show you them up close, this is very difficult because this camera is like destined to find my face. 
If I hold them up with me, then maybe you at least get to keep them in context. I'm going to have to literally squat around this stool in front of me. I have a stool here, so one, I can put things on it, like my phone and whatnot. And two, it stops me getting right up to the camera like that, because no one wants that. Although for this sort of stuff, it's quite good. So that's what it looks like. Is it just me, or is it just a bit... Like, don't get me wrong, I'm sure I'd see these things mature and be like, oh my god, yeah. But I just, I don't know, you, you gotta tell me, guys, I don't dig this at all. And there may be some of you out there that say to me, hey, why'd you buy it then? It's like, one, I didn't. I did in technicality, the shop bought it. I did not choose to buy it. Second of all, I run a shop, I'm, I'm obviously gonna sell things that I don't like, and that's fine. You can't like everything. I think you'd be a bit weird if you liked everything. I'd actually think you were lying if you said you liked everything. I don't know. All these people are like, oh, every plant is there. You lying. You lying. You lying. So that's him. What was it again? Raphidophora pu puberula? Puber pu puberula? I can't even say it. Literally, if you want to have a go at saying it on your couch, feel free. But that's it. No, I'm going to linger on it because I don't like it. I don't like it. Right, this next one's quite cute, and I don't actually know what it is. You're going to tell me it's something different, and that's cool, but I'm going off the trust that I have with the seller on this one. So you're going to think when I hold this up, and it's, it's badly done, it needs to be obviously potted slightly differently. I've done this for the video, but I'm going to show you this, right? Obviously, it's a shingler. I'm going to do that. And it looks very, very cute and pretty and lovely and wonderful. Now, this is not Raphidophora hei variegated, which I think a lot of people would say it was. It's apparently, does it just say giant form? Yeah, Raphidophora sp variegated giant form. So it gets quite big. Uh, I don't know how big. Again, I didn't really pick this one. Out of all the plants here, I probably picked two, and they're the ones you haven't seen yet. So this isn't one I picked, but it is apparently a giant form. I'm showing you this one intact and it is planted this way because it's actually going to be cut and propagated. So this beautiful, beautiful vine here will be no more. It's going to get propagated and you won't see it looking this cute again. So I will give you a good look for the sake of that. So yeah, I can understand why someone would say it was hey I, but apparently it isn't guys. To be honest, it does look a bit different. The variegation looks more, how do I put this? Like it's not going to fade down. It just looks present all the way down. So I, I do think it, by that it is different anyway. I find the hair variegated, it sort of fades and goes green. Whereas this clearly, if you look at the bottom, the bottom leaves, clearly it's not doing that. It is very, very beautiful plant and I hope it propagates well. It's going to be a bit of a, a bit of a nightmare to grow this, to be honest. I'll be honest, I don't really like bringing in stuff like this because to propagate it and to grow it nicely, it's a bit of a nightmare. It's not the easiest thing. It's not the same as propagating like a crawler or a regular climber and just having it go. And if it overgrows, it vines and you can cut that. Like this can just get shit quite quickly. So that is him though, and he is very beautiful. I'm, I'm honestly not knocking how he looks at all. I think he's gorgeous, but he's apparently, sorry, I've got the itchiest nose on planet Earth. It's really annoying me. It is apparently Raphidophora SP, giant form. Who knows how big it gets, eh? Who knows? These, these next two, which is the same plant, but there's two of them. These are the second favorite two in the entire haul because I'm leaving the best to last. Of course, of course. These, I've had this plant in before. Um, it, it was a bit of a nightmare, to be honest, because it reverted. It was very unstable. It is what it is. This one, I can see, is probably not going to do that. And it's weird because I, I was asking for more Jose Bono in one of the other plants I just showed you before, the, the Tenu Cross. But this one kind of has it, and it's really cool. So it is, I will lift them up the best I can. These two here. I think a lot of people might like these. I will try and tip them, guys. It's just, it is really hard because Lekka's just going to go literally everywhere. These here. This is Philodendron Green Congo variegated, but it's just different. The variegation is just different. And I say Jose Bono for obvious reasons. If I just show you that, you can probably see where I'm, where I'm coming from, really. That's kind of how it's presenting. Obviously, eh, you can get sectoral variegation and that's actually the newest leaf that you're looking at there. That's why it looks a bit, I would say, floppy right here if I just hold that up. That's kind of how it looks. It's very, very beautiful. It's actually quite pinky underneath, which is very, very cute. These are quite nice plants though, and I would almost recommend them over the regular variegated because at least this is probably going to hold because in my limited experience of the other one that I had, which was very beautiful, I think I held it up. Was that the one I snapped that time? I feel like that's the one I snapped and I was literally devastated about it. Do you remember that earlier in the year? I think it was just collective gasps from everyone because I snapped off a really beautiful leaf. Literally awful. I think it was that one. I think it was. And I have sold parts of that plant on. I've made my money back, but it, it took a long time because it was so notoriously unstable. I think I've got green Congo around somewhere. Literally just plain green Congo. I don't buy it in. So it's obviously from that. Wonderful. 
So I actually bought these thinking, hey, this is much better and I am going to propagate these or I might propagate one and then sell one. I haven't really decided. If I was going to propagate, I'd probably do this one and sell this one because this one to me looks nicer because you know me, I'm not necessarily bothered about big chunks of variegation. I'm more bothered about the overall vibe. Okay. And if I just show you this like that, you will see that the overall vibe, there we go. How nice is that? Honestly, look at that. That's, that's damn near a thumbnail. Look at that. Ooh, that is really, really pretty. I really like this. And I actually think this style of variegation, this Jose Bono kind of style works really quite nicely for this plant. And I think because of the pink Congo, people just hate Congo plants. <laughs> they are actually really good plants and they're very, very tough. And that's why you see them in garden centers. So if you're someone that wants to dive into variegated stuff, my best piece of advice for you, and I know I say this all the time, guys, Literally, I know I'm like a broken record, but pick something that's variegated, but is in box stores, if that makes sense. So get a variegated Congo, get a, probably a Florida Beauty, although they're a bit weaker. I'm struggling to think of variegated things now. There's a lot of variegated peace lilies and stuff. Just get something that is garden center tough, but variegated and you shouldn't have a problem. And this, I actually really like. So it is just variegated, I think. Um... Oh no, it's not. I've just lied to you. I have just lied to you. I've spent this entire time full of shit. It literally says green Congo hybrid variegated. Well, I'm sorry. I'm just going to go ahead and guess the hybrid. <laughs> surely, <laughs> surely at this point it's Jose. I need to find out what that is. Sorry about that, guys. That's my fault. It's because I haven't done the prep, but I just thought they were variegated but different. And it's probably because I've gone off the, the mandula that is variegated but different. This is apparently a hybrid. God, if that's not Jose, what is it? What is it if it's not Jose? Because I feel like these are longer as well. Maybe they're not. You tell me, guys. There's plenty of pink in it, and I can't remember if it should have pink. Jose doesn't have any pink, does it? It can't. It can't. But it, it just screams Jose to me. So I will try and find out what this hybrid is. I will ask Ben, see if he knows. He probably doesn't because I feel like he would have just told me. But how nice is this, though? I actually do really like these. So let me know what you think of them. Let me know if you can guess what it probably is hybridized with. Um, it's still very, very chunky. The internodal spacing still looks tiny in true Congo fashion, but it just sort of screams Jose Bono. I can't think off the top of my head of any other philodendrons that are like this. Mm, even Gigantium, it doesn't quite look like this. I want to say Jose real bad. I really do. There, I'll show you really quickly one more time. Obviously, we have a little bit of yellow, but that's fine. And then I will pick the other one back up because it might help. It might not help. This one's a lot darker, actually. I don't know why. It's just the green and everything. Look at that. Much darker. I just hold it up like that without being able to tip it there. Yeah, interesting. And as I say, there is pink, but I'm pretty sure Congos, can they get a bit pink? A little bit, a little bit blushed? My Congo knowledge isn't great, I'm going to be honest. But that's them. So I lied. It's not just variegated Congo. There is a hybrid. And I'm just going to guess it's Jose. I could be wrong. So please, honestly, if you're looking for this, don't take my word on it. I'm, I'm literally making shit up. I don't know what it is. Um, but I will try and find out. Unlikely, because again, Ben probably would have just told me. Now I'm going to put my two favorite ones in front of you. And these are the best ones. Have I done the rest? Yes. So let me just make sure that I've got the bloody name right, shall we? Uh, right. So this also says new, new variegated hybrid. So, right. Okay. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. But apparently it's a hybrid, right? So I'm about to hold up for you. Spathophyllum Sensation Aurea Hybrid. New hybrid. Guys, I just work here, okay? I don't know these things, but I actually picked these. I just thought I was picking variegated spath because I think I looked at the pictures. I was like, oh, it's variegated spath, that. I love that. Uh, not realizing it was a hybrid. So what can I say? My spathophyllum knowledge isn't amazing, but I do actually think, gonna call it, even if you don't like yellow variegation, I feel like you may, may like these. Do let me know. I'm just gonna hold these up. Are we on good time? Yes, we are. Look at these. Now this has to be the thumbnail because I just think they're so beautiful. Oh, they're really nice. Look at that. <gasps> I like this as a thumbnail. Give me a minute. Let me just position myself YouTuber style. These are so sexy and I would love one in my house. Now I know, I know, I know. Spath and Film are a little bit toxic to carts, but I'm just hoping I can sort of run with it. They do chew things, but they only really chew, they don't even chew every plant. They chew plants in a certain area where they can get to them. So it's a little bit different. So I guess it would depend on how I did them. And this isn't for definite, but I really fancy having one. Now for me, I'd probably pick the larger one because I'm impatient like that. However, to be honest, if you can see these, this is the smaller one. Obviously, this is the larger one. I actually think like this has a better spread variegation than that i think it does this has a little bit more around the margin of the leaf which is actually very pretty as well we just try and get these closer in so you can really see in fact no let's just do them one at a time so you can see let me hold that one up 
I'm trying my best, guys, to give you a tour of the plant, but it is very, very difficult because just ugh, things just fall out with the lecker and it's just very annoying. How nice is this? This is really nice. I wish I knew what it was a hybrid of, unless it's like a different spatha film. I don't know. I don't know what it is. I think it's cute though. Now, again, right. I'm saying yellow. This is, this is, this, this. Should have held this up earlier. Right, I'm going to put this big one down because this little one proves my point a little bit easier. I'm saying yellow variegation. Do you remember a few minutes ago when I talked about, hey, not all yellow variegation is equal and I have plants up here that throw a kind of mint, weird, yellowy, minty, cream sort of vibe. This plant, I can honestly say, is doing that. And I'll show you. So you have this here, which it, it is yellow variegation, but you can kind of see there, hopefully, hopefully on the footage, it's coming off quite green actually. Actually, it's almost like a, a yellowy lime. Now then, now then folks, if I draw your attention to some of the lower leaves, look at that. See if I can flatten it out a bit. Can you see that? It's like a, it's not a white, but it's, it's like a minty cream almost. Can you see this? There when it hardens off, see there's a newer one, not super new, but newer. And it's hardening off to that look, just to get right up there. Sorry, my, uh, my nails need doing. Apologies. That's what it looks like though. That is different. And again, it's not just that leaf, just full disclosure. There's loads. See that from this distance to me, that actually looks white, but that could be the camera blowing out and I'm in front of a ring light and whatnot. But I actually quite like this. So I feel like, oh, sorry, I'm shaking my camera. I feel like you could like this, even though you're not a massive fan of yellow variegation, because it's not, it's not full yellow. It's not like Monstera Aurea. It's obviously a bit different. So let me know what you think about these, but these are honestly my favorites and the whole thing. Just look at them. I mean, they're ready to go. They're ready to go. If you'd like to buy one of these, I might let one go. I don't know. I can't guarantee you. Make me an offer. Email me and make me an offer. Um, I want to say I'd actually let go of the big one because I'm now looking more at the smaller one, liking that more. But let me know if you're interested and I will, I will see what I can do. Can't guarantee I'll sell them though because I literally have two. Full disclosure, I have two. These are it. So we will see. Because I don't think they were the cheapest things to get in. And I know this because we bought two. <laughs> Otherwise, we would buy more if they were cheaper. Anyway, that was what I feel was my first haul of the year. I could be lying. I could have had some other things in. But it's definitely my first haul in at least six months. It's been a long time. And it's a weird time of year to be hauling things in. But hey, when you see stuff, you gotta go for it, right? Thank you very much for watching this video. Please let me know what you think about any of these plants I've mentioned. If you like this video, please leave a like down below. It lets me know that I'm making content that you enjoy. And if you have not already subscribed, I would absolutely love it if you could do so. That is it for this week's video, guys. I hope you have a great weekend and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.